Hey, you guys! Eagle is now not in a hey. shitty amount of clothing. Hey, Eagle. You look happy. We've been gone about He's been ten minutes. Off the walls ever since this morning when he heard you were coming. He isn't always this way. No, since you left, he's been moody most of the time. Eagle, you little brat. Is that true, Eagle? Mrs. Goodman is very good to me, and this place is amazing. But I, I still want to travel with you. No. Hey, Eagle, can I tell you something? It's about a captain of the guard who lived in a far-off land. He died in battle, fighting to protect his kingdom. Just like my mother and father. And this man's father, he lies sick in bed at the shock of his loss. The captain's father has been of great help to all of us. We owe him a great deal. Now, I kind of really get I that, like... thinking. Like, I'm not arguing that he helped him out, you know, I mean, let him stay in the inn, and fucking, he took care of him when he got fucked up after called this, but that's about it. Like, he's making it more off like the guy fucking, like, built that ship for him or something like that, or, like, saved his life, like, 50 times. It's like, he let him stay in the inn for free, and he fucking took care of him when he got, like, knocked out once, and that was it. If you would spend some time with the captain's father... I believe it might help him get better. What do you think, Eagle? What? So you didn't come to ask me to go with you? That's a shame. Butt hurt. Hmm. Okay, I'll do it. I can't say no to you. Thank you so much, Eagle. If this is Eagle's decision, I won't stop him. Later, Paperboy779. But seven, you can come nine. back any time you want, okay? No, it's not fun I here. I will. Thanks for everything, Mrs. Goodman. Kiss it, Mrs. Goodman. Kiss his thoughts. So basically, fucking, they realizing they're being assholes by having Tiz basically fucking, uh, by having Tiz take this kid here, and then, okay, well, now that you've bonded with this woman like she's your mom, uh, we're gonna go, bye, and then fucking they leave, and now they're talking about when they're gonna take him here to call Disla to go see the innkeep, they don't know if the innkeep's even gonna let him stay there. So what they're going to do is they're going to have this little plan they're going to do to try and basically make it a uh, deal he can't refuse or something similar to that. Damn, look at how close all of them are to leveling up. I'm almost about to get a uh, level 11 Valkyrie. Wow. How the hell did I get a level 11 Valkyrie before I got level 11 Black Mage when I've had the Black Mage around longer? How the fuck does that work? So it's back to call Disla. Um, I didn't get Susano yet because I don't have um, a way to get there yet. There's nowhere for me to dock over there.
I know there are six summons. There's not five. There's there's uh, six. Forgot about that. This might be bad. Or not. <laughs> Okay. Back to Caldisla. I try. I need to see the king, but it needs to be daytime, anyways. That about sums it up. What do you think, Your Majesty? I don't know why the That's Majesty's like idea, gray skin. I, must say. I have been concerned about the innkeep myself. Like, look at his skin. It's almost like gray. Looks like he's like got like a uh, like suit and ash on him or something like that. Eggel, it is admirable of you to agree to follow in the innkeep's footsteps. The kingdom of Caldisla welcomes you. Like, what the fuck? I didn't sign up for this shit. Uh. soldier one day like my mother and father before me like tis i want to be a mighty warrior with a kind heart who can protect the ones he loves later apres <laughs> well said well said fine sentiments for a boy to have very well then you shall be given access to our training hall lego and I would be honored if you would accept this gift. That fucking training hall is probably like three fucking people. What is it? A badge we give our young soldiers. My captain of the guard, Owen, also wore one once. I also like two. This marks you as an apprentice soldier for the kingdom, Eggle. I hope to see you train hard and become a first-rate soldier. I like how the king's like, when he talks, he just goes like, rrr, rrr, rrr. Wow! Thank you! Thank you, your highness. By the way, Tiz, how is the reconstruction of Narende Village proceeding? It sucks, king. With it fucking sucks. To save the world from peril, you must find little time to return, no? Perhaps you could put Eggel here in charge of the reconstruction? No. Reconstruction? You would be acting on Tiz's behalf. I'll do it! Are you sure you can handle all of this at once? Helping out at the inn, training to be a soldier, and supervising the reconstruction? That's a lot to take on. Okay, I'm taking account here. We're about to make a like what ten year old, the head of reconstructing an entire village. No sweat for me. You have unlimited potential, Legal. When the time comes, you shall choose your own path. Until then, be fearless. And follow your heart wherever it may take you. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Here comes this oh, scene. It's you. It's been a while. Ah, you have a young boy with you. And what's this? He wears the badge of a young soldier. 
That takes me back. My son treasured his above all else. You remind me of him a bit, you know? I want to be like your son Owen one day. My mother and father were guards as well. You don't say. I'm sure you'll get there one day. So you have returned, Baltinus. Yes. Not long ago. I was told you have an urgent report. Can it not wait until the Council of Six convenes? No, it cannot. It appears the Fire Crystal has been awakened. The remaining Black Blades continue to fight alongside the Sword Bearers. However, no word has come from Commander Kami Izumi. It seems that morale is plummeting. Our only option left is an all-out defense of the Earth Crystal. We must cut our losses in that realm. You propose that we abandon the Black Blades? The forces of the Duchy's first division? So... We have underestimated the Wind Vestal. We shall not make that mistake again. You or I. If the Earth Crystal were to be awakened, there would no longer be hope for this world. And our ideals would fade to nothingness. But the Wind Vessel has no way of traversing the highlands that surround the Duchy. Only the heavy airships held by our cadre have the propulsion necessary to make the journey. Do not be so sure. The Wind Vessel has thus far outmatched us at every turn. Summon Victor and Victoria immediately. It seems the Council of Six may have to deal with the Vestal personally. Allow me to interrupt. Uh, you. I'm glad the innkeep was willing to take in Eagle. Eagle said he looks so much like his late grandfather, it's scary. Enough about that. We must go to awaken the Earth Crystal. But we have no way of entering the Duchy of Eternia. Uh. Perhaps it's time to get out that creepy journal of yours, Ring-a-Bell. I'd hardly call it creepy. Anyway, I'll see what I can find. Hmm. There are a few notes that might apply. Earth Crystal, Grand Ship, Engine Room. Those are the words that seem to be coming up. Grand Ship? Perhaps we'll find a lead there. The serious thing now is we have to do even more backtracking. So, here we go again. Uh, I haven't seen you lot in a while. I heard about your exploits, though. Zax told me all about it. His suit's, like, glowing. Stop by for a drink when they're around. Stop by later, okay? I'll give you a special treat. There's also, uh... Fucking... I'm pretty sure they have it in here. They don't actually drink alcohol. Because most of them are under 21. Oh, there you are. I can't give you any liquor. Yeah, see. But you can help yourself to anything else on the menu. Again, whoever made this really liked sure food. Because you got another food with. Make yourselves at home. I've taken a shine to you all. I'll have the braised shanks and spicy seafood steak. Fluffy cheese omelet, please. Oh, and a palatial parfait deluxe. I don't know why that's capitalized. Sautéed wild pheasant and the slow-cooked country-style stew. Um, sweet herb and nut porridge and some jam-slathered toast. Sure thing. Hang on a second. Uh, what was that? We've been having that a lot lately. Grand ship might be finally coming apart. Yikes. Oh, that was a big shake. 
How long ago was Grand Ship built? They say it's been three or four thousand years. I don't know how the Basically, fuck this thing could be three or four thousand years old. Ago. I mean, come on. Wow. It's that old? All right. It's all ready. Help yourself to seconds, of course. Here you go. Let's eat. That was a feast and a half. Is that all you're having on, yes? You eat like a sparrow. I lived by modest means at the temple, and I still get full very easily. Say, proprietress, do you have any plans tonight? Shall we take a stroll on the deck and listen to the waves? Ring about hitting on somebody like three times his own age. <laughs> What's this guy on about? There we go again. That sound gives me the shivers. We're all used to it here. Yeah, how the fuck with this thing? Is this thing like goddamn Noah's Ark? It's nothing out of the ordinary for it to creak and sway a bit. Yeah, that eight standing up. I don't know why it shows that view like that. Just fucking randomly the boat out in the ocean. <sighs> I'm stuffed. I couldn't eat another bite. You ate too much, Tiz. I can't believe you put all that away. Do men always eat such volume? You haven't oh, noticed him eating this entire time? So. Have I none of you ate him? That much in a while, though. I guess that I lampshades see. it, but. Quite an appetite. Oh, good of you to stop by. Hi there. Greetings. Ah, the Wind Vestal. Rare to see you both here together. The usual death. No, I'm good today. I'm glad we ran into you guys here. Huh? You'd best flee the ship soon. Flee? Yeah. I'm good, thanks. Now my hair's ready? all fucked up. I can fly, fool. The ground shaking does nothing to me. So he fucking was hitting on Airy, for no fuck's sake. Shy girls. This place is sinking. My fucking hair. And it's going down quick. They're in a panic up on deck. So, uh, notice the boat's not even moving or anything now, it's just like fucking hanging out. It's gonna go up here. What is happening? Say, didn't Ringabel's journal say something about an engine room? Maybe this is it here? <clears throat> but it won't open. I'll check the journal again. Hmm. Nothing's changed. There must be a clue around here somewhere. Let's all look. Oh, shit. Hmm. What's this? Found something? What language is it written in? I can't read a word. Same here. It's all gibberish to me. Can you read it, Agnes? Wait. This is the ancient language of the Crystal Adventists. I can only make out a few words. Oh, wow! I'm impressed! Engine room door... Part of the ship... Requires... Orichalcum. 
So that fucking orichalcum word has been in the lexicon then for like millennia. Engine room door. It must Along be with the word door. engine apparently oh, having been in existence for thousands of years too. Huh? Ego, that orichalcum he picked up. Uh, I'm not gonna stream tomorrow. I'm gonna be about busy doing stuff. But I will stream again sometime soon. So nothing really. Oh, we got another thing in Narinde. Okay, so we have the Gale hairpin. I forget what that does, but I don't think it's anything amazing. We'll put another one down in there. Oh. Okay. So now we have to go get that Aura Calcum from Aegle again. However, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to go start up a different side quest. Okay, so the new side quest we're going to do is going to be back at the mansion, and it's actually kind of an expansive one. It'll probably take us the rest of the night to do... Well, no, actually it won't, because I'm just going to go to the fucking end of it instead of doing all the different scenarios. But basically, um, it's interesting because it's a... Uh, it's it's like a choose-your-own-adventure thing where you can have actual multiple ways this thing can pan out. It's actually one of the few parts in the game where you can get completely different permanent uh, results. Like, depending on your results, the game is permanently changed, and it's nothing major, it's just that you can do that. Yeah, a subquest can actually take quite a while to play out if you let it go all the way to its end. But um, I'm not gonna do that. But if it uh, if it does go to the end, Thank it's pretty you fucked so much up. For what you have done. Oh, Commander Goodman, it's good to see you at home for a change. I came as soon as I could when I heard the Wind Vestal was holding a banquet in my honor. A banquet? My wife is also most pleased. You can see she's all in a bustle getting things ready. I did wonder at seeing the names of officers Steiner and Neuer on the invitation. How did you know the names of our shield bearer officers, Vestal? I don't remember introducing you. Hold on. You've lost me, I'm afraid. Well, I received your letter saying that you'd like to hold a banquet at my residence. I have no recollection of sending such a letter. Is that so? Strange. I'm quite certain it was signed in your name. Never mind that, everyone. The banquet shall be ready soon. Well, I'd hate to put this food to waste. And Eleanor seems so happy. Indeed. We would be delighted to join you. Excellent. Please, this way. I say, the wind vessel is much younger than I had imagined. She may be young, but I hear she's quite capable. They say she's already saved our hides several times. Allow me to introduce everyone. These are my chiefs of operations. My closest advisors, you might say. My name is Saranis Steiner. It is a great honor to walk in the light of your countenance, Lady Vestal. Damn. I am Savish Neuer. I'm very glad you to some weird ass names. Lady Vestal. Pleased to meet you both. Well, now that formalities are out of the way, let's head to the table. Daniel. What is it? I just opened a letter that arrived this morning. A letter? There's no sender on the back. Let me see. 
Daniel Goodman, shield bearer commander, shall die this night. <gasps> what on earth? Is this some kind of sick joke? Who would send such a thing? It came this morning. <clears throat> I think Nastasia, our servant, collected it. I don't like this one bit. Well, we veterans should be able to look after ourselves. We should enjoy the feast, Commander Goodman. You are right. Are you okay, Eleanor? Yes. I I'll bring the food now. Please accept my apologies for this disruption, everyone. Not at all. That letter chilled my blood. A death threat, it seems. Ring a bell? Don't say such things. Uh, that was Eleanor's voice! What is wrong? Something terrible has happened! It's Nastasha! She's dead! <laughs> Let's see how good of a memory people have. Nastasia is dead. She was not breathing and had no pulse. We believe a blow to the back of her head with a blunt object is what killed her. But we haven't found a weapon. We've placed her body in bed for now. I'm more concerned at the fact that the front door will not open. It seems to be sealed shut from the outside. We cannot get out! Can't we just break a window? I'm afraid not. This residence was formerly a stronghold. There aren't any windows on the first floor. So that means... we're trapped? What on earth is going on? Who killed that servant? I still can't get I over their names. I was the food with Nastasia just before. Right up until I opened that threatening letter. I noticed nothing amiss at that point. Then it must have been you who killed her. Who else here would have had the chance? Nonsense. Why would my wife ever do such a thing? I have no idea. Perhaps she was the one who wrote that letter as well. N no I... I would never harm a fly. But you were the only one who could have been with the servant at the time she was killed. Wait! The culprit will not be found through conjecture. That said, the murderer must be among us. The front door has not been opened since we arrived, no? None have entered, and none have left. That leaves only us. I would never accuse the Vestal. But how can we trust you other three? We know nothing about you. How do you know that she's fucking really it's the Vestal? I'm sure I appear suspicious. After all, I have no memory and know not my own past. There's no one who can attest to my background either. Oh, for pity's sake. Why do you travel with companions of such dubious origin, Vestal? They show Don't give a fuck. Up. All of a sudden, the servant dies. Isn't the timing a little convenient? Enough. The Vestal and her companions have hardly had time to do such a thing since they arrived. And you well know how much they have aided the shield bearers already. I won't stand to hear the Vestal and her allies insulted. However, in that case, the finger of blame can point only to your good wife. Wait. Allow me to take charge of this matter for now. I would ask that you all remain calm. So, you have to go around and ask people for clues and figure out the way they did it and stuff like that. However, we're just going to skip all this. And... Go right to the culprit. Poking around isn't going to bring her back, ring a bell. Yes, I know. I'm well aware, but... Show some respect for the dead, Ring-a-Bell. Uh... 
You serious? I thought if you checked that enough times, it'd fix it. Hmm. Guess I have to talk to other people. How are you holding up, Eleanor? I... I can't believe this is happening. With my husband home at last, and you here for a banquet. Please believe me. I have not killed a soul. How long had the servant girl been working at your residence? Whoops. By the way, I like how Anya's is like dumb as fuck 95% of this game. And then this thing happens and she suddenly becomes fucking ace attorney. So, fuck this conversation. Whoops. No. Ow! Whoa! The body spoke! So you have discovered my ruse. I never expected you to notice I was merely posing as a corpse. How clever of you. So you remember how that chick transformed back at the fucking Black Blades? This is ex pretty much exactly how she looked. Just as I suspected. You're right. I have yet to slay my Marv. Trust the Wind Vessel and her troop to show up at the worst possible time. Well, it seems I have no choice, but... Now, if you didn't do this, and you go and you talk to person after person, this chick eventually offs every single person in the house except for your team and the husband and the wife. So she offs all the officers, and they are permanently dead. And the rest of the game, you never see them again because of this. So, yeah, it actually goes to the point that the husband will lock her wife up, or lock his wife up, in a fucking prison underneath the house. And then she still gets accused of killing when he gets targeted, but is saved at the last minute by your team, by a woman. And so since the only woman left is her, they still think she's doing it somehow, and yeah. To kill you all, just as I did the fire vessel three years ago. You were the one who took the Fire Vestal's life? Then you are a member of the Black Blades? Who you sure talk fat! That is correct. I am Konoe Kikyo, professional killer and leader of the Black Blades' covert forces. <laughs> hmm. She's gone quiet. I've seen this woman near this residence before. She was just my type, so... Uh, I mean, she looked suspicious, so I chased after her, but she gave me a swift rebuff. Remember all the way back when we first got here and Ringabelle is walking around with that aching arm and saying that there is a chick that crawled around on the walls and ceiling and fucking kicked him or punched him or whatever else in the shoulder? Yep. What? You mean this is the girl you were chasing after that time? Here she comes! Wow, Ryu with the counter to the hurricane kick. Oh my god, with another counter to the hurricane.